EPA and UAE meteorologist Bobby Martins here with your outlook for June 5th, 2024. It is the middle of the work week, Wednesday. The Wednesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Sylvester Incorporated in Gwinnett Valley, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Sylvester is your preferred contractor for paving, concrete, and site solutions. They have been happily serving Bucks and Montgomery County for the past four generations, from residential driveways, patios, and walkways to commercial parking lots and roadways. If you have been considering operating your outdoor space, Sylvester is second to none in, in decorative concrete design and solutions. Visit their website at sylvester.com. That's S I L V E S T E R A.com. Or call them for a free consultation. The phone number above me here in the video, 215-659-8757. Mention you saw this ad on the EPA WA video forecast to receive 10% off any residential service for the 2024 season. They are Sylvester Incorporated in Gwinnett Valley, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Proud sponsors of the Wednesday video forecast. So we do have a warm front moving toward the region today. Uh, this is going to give us some scattered showers and thunderstorms, but it's going to be very late in the day, more likely the evening and overnight uh, when this occurs. And then uh, as far as severe weather is concerned, usually when we're looking for severe weather, and this is just a hypothetical here, I'm not giving you a, a, an exactly what's going to happen today. You have a low pressure that's kind of like a northwest PA like this, and you have a warm front like this, cold front like this. You're in the warm sector, and that warm sector gets you the severe weather associated with a warm front typically we don't have severe weather associated with a warm front unless this is the case that is not going to be the case today uh the best forcing in fact is going to be all the way up here in northwestern canada all the way up here uh excuse me not northwestern canada but southern canada far northwest of our region and the warm fronts extended out here like this and the cold front's back here like this. So there is a warm sector in here, but it's not going to be really affecting here. So the marginal risk for the Storm Prediction Center is actually out in these areas here and not over our region. The reason for that is because the best forcing is too far removed from our region to really get any severe weather going. I do think, however, uh, with a warm front, you have a high precipitable water content. And then and today is uh, certainly a, a candidate for that with high precipital water content. So we'll have some heavy rain possible in any of these storms that come through. They're going to be garden variety otherwise, but we're going to be dealing with some heavy rain with any of these storms that move through this evening and part of the overnight. Okay, so any storm can produce locally heavy rainfall. The good news about this is the storms will be moving. They're not going to be like training and over the same areas and uh, very a very slow steering flow. We're going to have some movement to them. So it shouldn't be anything more than a flash flooding issue. Not a flooding issue, but a flash flooding issue. That is a possibility uh, possibility with these storms moving through this evening. So let's get over the name. High res future simulated radar. I'm sure this is off at 5 p.m. And this is 5 o'clock in the afternoon, which is uh, all the activities out here in central PA at this point. As we move this forward... Uh, this is going to come through during the evening for most areas, at least the concentration of it. You could have a few pop-up uh, cells ahead of this main line before the warm front moves through. And this is going to be uh, a, a very uh, something we have to watch very closely here this evening for the Phillies game here in South Philadelphia against the Milwaukee Brewers. That is the getaway game, the third game of the series. Uh, against the Milwaukee Brewers, and that is a 4.05 p.m. start. So that is right here. Here's South Philadelphia, right there where I put that dot. So there is going to be the opportunity for maybe something isolated to pop ahead of this, and that would affect the latter part of the game if that were to occur. But the concentration of this is going to come in during the evening hours. So uh, when this does come through, uh, you have the scattered showers and thunderstorms, but again, garden variety we're looking for for the at this point. So it's not only the fact that this is a warm front and you typically don't have severe weather unless it's a perfect setup like it is illustrated. We don't have that, but it's also coming in after dark. So you're losing some instability. And I don't expect this to be a severe weather event for most areas. This is just a heavy rain and lightning threat with this particular batch of rain going uh, from uh, during the evening hours moving through. And then it's going to uh, continue until several hours past midnight. And then just some residual showers going into Thursday morning. The cold front then is going to follow 
after that point when you could have a, an isolated thunderstorm here in the afternoon after some morning showers on Thursday. And then once that moves through, the cold front moves through, we have the sun come back out and it's actually going to be a pretty nice day from the point where that moves through. And this is going to be on Thursday, early afternoon, it looks like. This is looking at uh, 3 p.m. on Thursday. And you see a couple of thunderstorms here for across far eastern Pennsylvania that moves into New Jersey later in the day. Behind this front, almost immediately following this front, there's going to be some uh, sun coming out here. So if you do have those storms come in earlier in the afternoon, early to mid-afternoon, like is shown here on the NAM, you won't have, uh, you will have some... Uh, sun before sunset here on thursday okay uh so a few early showers here on thursday and then the, the opportunity for some uh garden variety thunderstorms later in the afternoon with a cold front as it moves through here on thursday and that's pretty much the same thing the european model is showing more front moves through overnight and then here is the cold front coming through here on thursday again with some scattered showers and thunderstorms once that moves through uh, here is Friday. Now, we this is getting better and better. Now, this is uh, for Friday anyway. Friday looks like it's going to be a partly to mostly sunny day. No precipitation across the entire region on Friday. This is a change from yesterday where it looked like it was going to be every day. We had a chance for afternoon or evening scattered showers or thunderstorms. Friday no longer looks like that. It looks like it's going to be a little bit better. And the same thing here for this for Saturday. Maybe our northern areas might see a late day. Far northern areas near the Pennsylvania New York border might see a late day shower or a thunderstorm here on Saturday. But for Saturday looks pretty good for the remainder of the region. And the further south and southeast you go in a region, the better chances you have of seeing no precipitation on Saturday as well. So uh, depending where you are in a coverage area. You might not have a bad uh, stretch of weather here for Friday and Saturday. There is an upper level low that is sitting, I did a little story in yesterday's video, that's kind of sitting over the eastern Great Lakes. It's going to move through New England here uh, on Sunday. And uh, once that moves through on Sunday, we're going to have the opportunity for the extended cold front moving through the region. And that is right here. It's hard to see. Could be an isolated shower here on Sunday afternoon. For a few areas as that moves through but this has been over modeled as far as uh, the advanced notification of what we're going to be dealing with this week with this upper level low and that is typically the case you never know what this upper level is, let, uh, what any upper, upper level is going to do until we get a little bit closer and the models can properly resolve exactly how it's going to evolve and this upper level low just kind of spinning here uh, gives you the opportunity for some short waves around the base of this upper level low and bring us some showers, but that no longer looks to be the case on Friday or Saturday. So in our local forecasts, you will see on the website, no precipitation listed except for far northern areas here in the Friday, Saturday time frame. And then Sunday, just an isolated chance as this, uh, the attendant cold front moves through in association with that departing low. Now, Monday, we go back to partly and mostly sunny skies. And then Tuesday, we have this system here that could give us a few showers, very, very cloudy skies and a few showers here on Tuesday. Uh, we're getting way out there as far as uh, the end of our seven-day forecast window, so this can certainly change with time as well. It doesn't look like it's ominous as it looked like for not in yesterday's video or the day before where it looked like it was going to be pretty much an everyday chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon instability related showers in association with an upper level low so uh, looking a little bit better but uh, as far as your weekend's concerned we're going to continue to follow this throughout the week and give you any updates as we have it going forward uh, for the uh, upcoming weekend i'm apa Dubois meteorologist bobby marchers that is your outlook for June 5th, 2024. Have a great Wednesday.